Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Mac Merlin stream. See a couple of people joining in. Rawrence, KSJ, Thrilly, Sumax, Hello Manless, FitLab, Flash Flood, Dash Dash, Underscore Dash. Thanks, guys, for joining in so early at the start of the stream. So, yeah, hopefully everyone's doing a great today uh, on a good Sunday night. I see Barugi subscribing at Tier 1. Subscribe for 22 months. Thank you for your 22 months of support. Also see Ascent. OG Fancy, Resistance Frequencies, all joining in. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Here we go. For those of you joining in for the very first time, thank you very much. This stream is all about group buys. We talk about mechanical keyboard group buys, keyboards, keycaps, whatever. You name it. As long as, it, as, long as, it's, as it's happening this week, this week, particularly tonight, September 25th, all the way till Saturday, October 1st. So yeah, as long as it's happening within this time frame, any mechanical keyboard related group buy goes. So the very first ending group buy is actually a key set. This one is GMK Hander Beige. Starting with a base of 120, you get a full size supporting base kit with some of the common layouts in between. You've also got front print relegendables what this means is that it's not on the top which wouldn't make sense for a relegendable anyway because you that's what they're for so it's all the way on the front here a little harder to see but still pretty cool you also have an r5 kit check it out for i, I think you can use these for 40 percent and all that and last but not the least you've got an extension kit as well so yeah, if you wanted to go all in on this key set, buying every single kit, you're looking at spending about $216. And because this is a GMK key set, you unfortunately have a fairly long wait time. It's expected to deliver in Q4 2023. So yeah, um, progress August 26th till September 25th. First time chatter from Ayub. Sid Dequi, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right. What happened? I thought you were going to use Clunker to annoy the stream the whole time. That was like three weeks ago. <laughs> what is a Relegendable? Here, let's take a look at that. See, so if, as you can see here, there is a plastic bit on top of these keycaps. These plastic bits are completely removable. You can take paper and you can write whatever legend that's on it and put it under there and put it back onto the keycap. That's why they're called re-legendables. Um, you'll probably see these on point of sale machines at your nearest grocery store of sorts. But yeah, this is this is what it is. This one expires tomorrow on the 26th. And if you're a big fan of the hander bites, but you don't like the extreme color shifts, this might be a little bit more palatable to you with only the legends that are changing. So yeah, check it out before or by the end of the 26th. Yeah, next item that is expiring is another key set. In fact, this is the only other key set that I know of that's expiring this week. This one is DCS White on Black Alps. $120 base kit, and it's only TKL supporting, but it does have the common layouts in between. Got numpads for 40 bucks, 40s for 35, also relegendables for 35, Macro for 20, space bars for 25, and an ISO kit for 25. To go all in on this key set, this white on black key set, you're looking to spend $300. A little bit earlier than GMK when it comes to delivery times, this one is expected to deliver in Q3 of 2023. You know, there's quite a few people who like Alps. One of the reasons why I really liked Alps back in the day was that it was the only way I could get more tactility than a Cherry MX Brown or an Ergo Clear. Of course, these days we have more tactile MX switches, but back then, really Alps was the only way to go for that tactility, unless you want to consider Topra, you know? But the problem with Alps switches is, you know, not only are they old, um, hard to find, you always have to desolder board, but it's not like there was very much keycap compatibility. But looks like these days you've got stuff like this. So well, that's great. Yeah, delivery time Q3 2023. But yeah, any other things here? Yep, double shot, Alps. Yeah, if you guys are interested in this one, you guys have until Saturday to make your purchase. All right, as far as I know, these are the only two key sets. 
But yeah, if if I had to choose between the two, I'd probably go for the DCS White on Black Alps. Because, like I said, I do have a bunch of Alp switches and, you know, this might encourage me to build them. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about keyboards. In fact, I'd say this week. This week is a very keyboard heavy week. But yeah, our very first ending keyboard is expiring on the 30th. That's on Friday. Here we go. This is the XOX70 F Rollers TKL. Starting at $365, you have your choice between Shadow, Dream, Sunny, Bonsai, Atlantic, Bordeaux. You can choose between a hot sop or soldered PCB or a wind keyless or wind key PCB. You know, and depending on what your configuration that you choose is, it does go up to $410. Check it out, check it out. It's a very beautiful board if you ask me. Um, this does have a expected delivery time of Q1 2023. So not that far away, not that far away at all. As you can see, this is a gasket board as well. Two brass weights on the bottom. Actually, let's take a look at Designed by Mr. Nobody, nice. Eight degree typing angle, two internal brass weights, which are E clear coat treated. It's a screwless exterior design, gasket leaf spring. Let's see, what else can we say here? Comes with one carrying case, very nice. Cool, hot swap PCB has a fixed layout with seven U space bar, okay. That's interesting. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, 365 at the low end, 410 at the high end. I quite like Efrola's TKLs. Like I, I like the TKL aesthetic, but I've always felt that they were too big for me. But something like this, something like this seems to be about right. So yeah, um, if you guys are interested in this board, you have until the 30th, which is this Friday to buy it. Right, the next item, the next keyboard that's expiring is also expiring on the 30th. In fact, the next couple items are all expiring on Friday the 30th. There we go. This one is the KS65. There we go. The KS65. There's no official like storefront for it other than a Google form. So I, I, I'm just going to show you guys the um, Geek Hack page instead. But look at this. This is a very curvaceous 65% as you guys can see. Look, look at this, main features, aluminum top, unified daughter C3, custom rubber feet, interesting. N52 magnets, very interesting. Yeah, thick curves with big bezels. Both, both features that I like, but I will have to say that the curves here may be a little too much for me. Built weight is approximately four pounds. Your PCBs right there. Cool colorways comes in either black, silver, or blue. Plate colors are black and gray. Okay. How does that back look? It's not even loading. Okay. That's where all the gaskets are. Cool. With magnets. Back of the PCB. Let's look at the back of the PCB. Yep, that looks like an Atmega 32U4 microcontroller. That's good. Daughter board connector is on the right. So yeah, this one. Is 350 all the way through, but check this out. Let's see, there is a cap at 30 units to ensure a smooth group buy. So um, I was actually expecting this to already be closed because we talked about this a few weeks ago, and I guess 30 units have not been met yet. So very interesting, very interesting. But 
but I get it, you know, like if this is one of the first group buys that you've run, you don't really know what you're getting into, if you're a one-man operation or, or even if you're a two-man operation, this can get very overwhelming very quick. If you want to have like high quality standards, um, fast shipping, good customer service, you know, it's, it's a very hard thing to do. So capping it at 30 is actually a very good idea. But yeah, check it out if you guys are interested in a board that looks like this. This one's 350 expiring on the 30th this Friday and estimated delivery time of December of this year, 2022. The next keyboard expiring on the 30th is all the way on Canon keys. See, I think this one was sent to me via audience group by a, a few weeks ago, but we're talking about the vector. Here we go, but yeah, here we go. This is the vector by IO3, 620 bucks. Available in black, silver, red, blue, gray. Available in blockers, win key or win keyless. This is a 60% that is probably one of the most expensive 60% we've talked about this year. Designed by AIO3 with a retro modern aesthetic. It's a 60% gasket board. Look at that. Large seams, a leap across time. I will have to say that it's very eye-catching, especially if you look at the back here. If you look at that weight on the back, that's really gorgeous. I think it's like a good mesh between a vintage look and a more modern take on things. Looks pretty decent, but not not quite my aesthetics. No, not, not quite my aesthetic preference. So at 620 bucks, this board actually delivers in Q1 in 2023. Fairly quick if you ask me. Aluminum pen rail. The standard edition gets sandblasted steel and the special edition comes with a polished PVD brass weight. Very nice. It's a solderable PCB. Custom molded feet, FR4 half plate. Screw hardware, Canon keys, microfiber cloth, Canon keys carrying bag and a authenticity card. Interesting. I guess when boards get this high in price, you know, I think that that begins to be something that people want. Could get it before I get my Rama Thermal, yeah for sure. And of course you can always get some extra pen rails and stuff. Let's see what's available. You can get extra PCBs and daughter boards starting at 5 bucks. Extra FR4 plates, extra pen rails at 39 and extra feet. Very cool. Very cool. But yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. This one expires on Friday as well. 620 bucks, expiring or delivery in Q1 2023. All right, next up, next up, I'm just gonna talk about both, both boards at the same time. This one is hopefully OBS lets me change. Yes, it does. Okay, so this one is the OSA V2 along with the OSA V2 numpad. The OSA V2 numpad starts off at 255 and based on your configurations goes up to 260. The actual OSA V2 goes from 485 to 498. So let's take a look at the numpad really quick here. So both are supposed to be matched to, to each other so they both have the same typing angle. 7 degree board angle, USB-C PCB support only, polycarb top and bottom, brass plate and weight with black silicone feet. In terms of layout, you can do your traditional numpad or 1U all over. Topra options as well, support for normal Topra housings, think Topra cap mount or R2 RGB support for R2 RGB housings only. Yeah, check out that PCB guys. Yeah. This is the board for all you Topra enthusiasts. No, which is why it's 255 for a numpad. It's been a while since I've seen a numpad that's really expensive. So yeah, let's take a look at the actual OSA V2. Starting at 485. There we go, that's what the PCB looks like right there. Upa subscribing at tier one. Thank you so much, subscribe for three months. How was I not stopped earlier? I have no no idea. We just talked about the vector as well. <laughs> Very nice board. For like 485 and being a Topra board, 
This really is like, I, I think this is a really good price. I think this is a really good price for um, what you're getting. Let's see. And delivery time though, because you know, this is probably the only board that's delivering really late. This is delivering Q3 2023. It's going to it's going to take a while. Check it out if you guys are interested. Expires on the 30th. All right. Let's see. The last item that's expiring that I know of at least is another keyboard. This one expires on Saturday. We actually just talked about this last week. The Orium CP we go for 470 bucks. I believe last week it was like 500, so the price did change change a bit. This is a compact 1800 or 96 key keyboard with a cat logo over there by the blocker. Very cute. Max quantity 300. Delivery time in 2023. 6.5 degree typing angle. Win key only. Supports ANSI and and ISO. It is a bottom mounted board. Let's see, different colors available for your top. Navy gray, silver, rose, gold, or red. Bottom pretty much like the same colors available. And yeah, you can even change the colors for the plate. Final price, 470 bucks. So yeah, I was talking about last week how I'm like, oh, I don't really have too many 96 key keyboards. And you know, um, I got contacted and I actually just received this board yesterday evening. So we'll be doing a build stream of this guy. And just to give you guys a quick sneak peek. Here, let me pull it out. Comes in a very cute case actually. Yeah, as many of you know, um, the other board that I have from Bomb Studios is the Neong 75, which is my end game 75%. Love it so much. But yeah, I guess they've pretty much adopted the, like the shape of the Neong as their company logo. <laughs> Very cute. So yeah, here it comes. Comes kind of like in a shelf. Shelf box. KSJ, I think you said that last week as well, or someone said it last week. Oh, so something about this. Um, the Neong 75, I believe, is about to be to be delivered. So I did get an extra PCB for that, just because my PCB was pretty finicky. So I got a hot swap one. So I'll probably be rebuilding my Neong in the near future. Yeah, just a quick unboxing. Not gonna go through every piece in depth. But here's the PCB associated with this board. Sent me a solderable PCB. Let's see, what's the microcontroller on this? Looks to be an Atmega32U4. Awesome. Yeah, this is probably one of the biggest customs that I have right now. Usually most of the customs that I get are like TKL or, or under. Lots of packing. Yeah, I would assume that the actual production unit probably has a bunch of foam in it instead of just bubble wrap that's been wrapped up. You know? There we go, there's a daughter board right there. Oh, it's a Heine daughter board, yeah, because Heine made the PCBs. Makes, makes sense. There is a secondary daughter board, I guess, for, for um, spares. Wilfer, I do like my Neong more, more than I like my um, 7V. And here we go, here's the actual keyboard. Yeah, I would imagine that for production units, the packaging will be much nicer. But I don't know what they sent me. It looks black, it's probably black. Oh, no, it's not black, it's just that the sleeve that it's in is black. So I wonder, I wonder what this is. Oh, it's the, it's the exact unit, guys. It's exactly that. Interesting. There it is. But, oh, it's a different plate. The one on the website is an aluminum plate. This looks to be, 
Actually, I don't know. It, it could be aluminum. It's aluminum. It's just black aluminum instead of the silver one that they have there. Interesting. Looks pretty good. Cool. Ooh. Nice brass weight there. It does look a little raw. I don't know what that what the what the stripes on it are for. Let me just look at the website really quick. Do they have pictures of the weight on the website? No, they do not. Oh, actually they do. Here we go. So that looks like a render, actually. Looks like a render. And if you look at what I have, which is a prototype, you know, you can see the, the striations right there. So I'm not surprised about that at all. But looks good. Looks good. Oh, it looks like I lost a foot there. <laughs> Interesting. I'll take care of that later. But yeah, this is this is pretty nice. So it's supposed to be a bottom mount board, so you can see where the screws mount to the bottom there. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh yeah, I noticed that mine doesn't have Orium on the bottom and it doesn't have that symbol that's depicted on the website. So yeah, this is definitely a prototype of sorts. Pattern is different. Designed by Mount Kiverest. I wonder if that's on my keyboard too. Designed by Mount... Yep, I've got it. So the difference on mine though, mine does say made in Korea. Made in Korea. Whereas the render doesn't depict that. So yeah, I will be building this probably on... Maybe Tuesday? Tuesday or Wednesday. It depends on how busy I get at work. But yeah, those are the days that I'll be aiming to do this. Um, let's see. What switches would I use for this? This is probably one, one of the largest customs I've built. So hopefully I have enough switches. Uh, you know, I could probably build it with these guys. With Doom switches. You like the color pairing on mine? Yeah, I'm not too big on the gold look, unless it's paired with red or it's paired with black. But I think with a board like this, I can I can maybe put Olivia on it. Look at that. I might put Doom switches on it because these are the only switches that I have that I think would fit a keyboard of this size. You can probably look around. Yeah, I think I've got alpacas. Apocas could probably probably do it too, and I could match the pink of the stem with the pink of the board. We'll see. We'll see. Put this away, and we'll continue with the rest of the show. But the thing is, that is actually the last keyboard that I know of that's expiring this week. So just as a quick recap of the keyboards that are expiring. Let's see. There we go. Yep. Keyboards that are expiring are the XOX70 keyboard, the KS65, the the Vector, the OSAV2, the keyboard itself, and the associated numpad, and last but not the least, the Aurium CP, which I just unboxed. Out of these keyboards, which ones are the is the audience most excited in? I'd love to hear it in chat. So yeah, let me know in chat which of these expiring keyboards you guys are most interested in. Let's see, XOX, XOX70, XOX, this KSJ. I'm not surprised so far, it's a very good looking board. XOX, 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 XOX. KSJ says XOX, but I have a Tenet, which is cooler. I'm kinda iffy on my Tenet, to be honest. <laughs> Mr. Bato says already in for the XOX. XOX, wow, that is unanimous, holy crap. And I even had like a lot of keyboards to talk about. I would agree with the, with the majority of you. This is by far a super nice looking board. Especially the, especially the colors that it's available in. Absolutely gorgeous. Like I know nothing about how this board types, sounds or feels, but just based on looks, 
this board looks wonderful. KS65, like I said earlier, I'm not too excited about how curvaceous it is. Like, I do like the thick bezels, but the curves don't really satisfy me. The um, vector on Canon keys looks like a very beautiful board, but at 620, I'm kind of like, mm, not so sure I want to be spending that much. And the OSA V2, I've never really been a big fan of Alice type layouts like this. So, yeah, not not something I'm interested in. And the Orium, I just got one for review for build. So, um, I, I generally don't go for boards bigger than TKL. This is actually the one of the first larger than TKL boards that I've ever received on this channel. So, we'll see. We'll see how this goes for me. I would agree with the majority of you and pick the XOX. This particular episode was very keyboard heavy. We actually have a very high total ending group by number this time around. For the last couple of weeks, we'd been averaging about a thousand, sometimes even less than a thousand. But today we are way more than a thousand. If you wanted to buy everything that I ju just talked about, everything from GMK Handerbaged all the way to the Orium CP, buying the premium editions of every keyboard, buying every kit, desk mat, accessory, and a key set, you are looking to spend a grand total of $3,124. $3,124 does not include shipping, taxes, or appropriate customs fees, so probably more like $3,600. That's probably the highest total we've had since, I don't know, probably since January. Let's talk about missed group buys. Very first missed group buy is actually a key set. In fact, all of them are key sets. But this one is DCX Jasmine, expiring at the end of the month on September 30th. There we go, all the way on drop. This one is drop's own profile. DCX is a very cherry-like profile at $79 and is a one kit key set. This looks to have pretty much all the common layout supports all the way up to full size. And one thing that I like to point out is that it also has split spacebar support, which is pretty rare, especially for a double shot ABS set at 79 bucks. So far, everything I've heard about DCX has been great. And this this colorway actually looks really good to me. Like I, I like the green nature of it. So I may just pick this up. And typically with drop, you know, even if you don't join in on the group buy by September 30th or whenever it's posted, um, they, 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 they change to pre-order. Let's check that out. Three months left, you know? So you could essentially still buy this set all the way until it's about to be delivered. And the expected delivery date of this is, let's see. There we go, December 15th, 2022. So I would bet that you could order it on December 14th still. So yeah, really like the colorway. If you guys have been curious about DCX profile, this might be the key set that you go for. Yeah, for, for 79 bucks, this is not bad at all. And it's one, it's one kit in the key set. Yeah, I think I might just buy this one. Oh, I got till Friday to like make up my mind. But yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. This is DCX Jasmine expiring on Friday the 30th, starting at 79 bucks, delivering December 15th, 2022. Right, our next key set that I missed from last week is from a manufacturer that I don't, that I'm not quite familiar with, but this one expires on October 3rd. This one is the Key Kobo Beige and Dolge key set being sold on Mex and Co. So this one has several kits in it. Starting at 110 bucks, you can choose either between the Beige base kit or the Dolch base kit, both at 110 bucks. 
You then of course have the beige extensions for 16 bucks and the appropriate dolt extensions, CMYK add-ons and CMYW add-ons, all for about 24 bucks. But yeah, I've not really heard of Kikobo before, but this does have an all-in pricing of 300 bucks, buying all of these kits for 300, and estimated, estimated delivery time of Q1 2023. The double shot ABS plastic, okay, manufacturer Kikobo. I was almost thinking that this was a uh, PBT, but I guess it's double shot ABS. I wish they would have, oh, here we go. Just as I was about to ask it. A couple of renders here. Dolch and beige are probably the two most co common colorways. King Fry says, that sounds expensive or something you haven't heard of. Yeah, I would agree with you. $110 is getting close to GMK pricing. But they do promise a Q1 2023 delivery date. A GMK set that's that's expiring this week is still Q4 2023. So three, three quarters early, nine months early. You know, nine months early for something that's almost the same price up to you to decide if that's too expensive or just right yeah check it out hundred and ten dollars for either base kit 300 to go all in delivery time of q1 2023 this next key set is a pbt set pbt cherry profile also missed from last week this one expires on october 9th this one is milky way barista for those of you who like coffee or like coffee themed key sets, you have a base kit, a TKL supporting base kit starting at 90 bucks, um, supporting some of the common layouts in between, but still just a TKL. Then you have so many other kits here. You got 40s for 88, Accent for 21, Alpha Milk, Cupping Drip, Cupping Milk, I don't even know what that means, Nord, Novelties, Numpad, Space Bars. You have a barista cable, <laughs> coffee flavor dust mats, which I think is pretty darn cool. If only my internet would load this because everything's getting going so slow for some reason. Coffee flavor dust mat, very interesting. So you also have the harvest dust mat, which I think is more aesthetically pleasing to be honest. And then of course you have the one key studio and NPS dust mat, look at that. Oh, it's got a cat in it. Okay, that's cute. See, that cable is so nice, I know, right? Like, I don't usually buy custom cables, but I don't usually see a custom cable in, in packaging like this. <laughs> but yeah, looks looks really good. Looks really good. Base kit starting at 90, buying every single kit, all of these extra accessories in this key set puts you up to just about $500 to go all in, and it has an estimated delivery time of Q2 2023. This guy expires on October 9th. KJ says, I actually like this very much. Me too, me too, and I don't even really drink coffee. Here, you guys can check out the Geek Hack page for Milky Way Barista. Let's see, where are the renders? I would like to see the renders. Cupping milk, wow, everything's going so slow tonight. There we go, renders. Very beautiful. I really like the look of this key set. For 90 bucks, that's not a bad price at all. Okay. If anything, I'll definitely definitely get the desk mats. That that one's beautiful. That that one's beautiful as well. Oh, there is a a switch for this as well. It's a five pin linear switch. Top housing is some blended polymer. Bottom housing is palm and stem is P3. Okay. Okay, what, what is this? Operation Force 48G, bottom out, bottom out at 55. That is a very light switch, dang. Travel distance four millimeters. Interesting. Yeah, this will be available on Max and Co. Switch keys, Kanata keys, Mac junkies, Cordy Pop, coffee keys. Haha, ha, funny. Co coffee keys selling Milky Way Barista. That's nice. Mech mods, swag keys, and Mechaland. Yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. Expires October 9th. We'll talk about it again once October 9th comes around. Actually, 
So yeah, the last key set that I missed. This is KDS Squid Kid expiring on the 10th. KDS Squid Kid all the way on Dusk Hero selling for $114.99 Canadian dollars, which translates to just about 85 US dollars. Um, I've not heard of KDS actually, but it has an estimated shipping time of Q1 2023. I'm gonna say I don't like these colors. These are a little too uh, out there for me. <laughs> Oh my, oh my indeed. I, I do like the gray alpha. That's probably the only thing I like about this set, to be honest, but the green and the pink are a little bit too polarizing. This this shade of green is too much. You're, you're a squid now, nice. Sean Buller subscribed to tier one, thank you. Subscribed for 22 months on a 19 month streak. Dude, thank you so much. The KDS did that. Oh, you're right. KDS did do that Solarized Dark set. So, okay, okay. But was it this cheap? 85 bucks? I can't remember. I can't remember at all. But here we go. Make a splash and release your inner squid with KDS Squid Kit. Two tone keycap set bursting with accent colors. Cool, cool, cool. Um, PBT plastic reverse die subbed cherry profile. Okay. As many people are saying, this is a. Splatoon themed set, but it is to celebrate the launch of Splatoon 3. That's why. Dice Sub gonna be that bright. Who knows? Who knows? There you go. $79.99 actually. Even cheaper. To celebrate the launch of Splatoon 3, we plagiarized. Oh gosh. There we go. Okay. Much easier to navigate. But doesn't make the keyboard look any nicer, unfortunately. <laughs> So yeah, this is a one kit key set. Let's see, full size support, different space bar, and some of the common layouts in between. Even comes with a few novelties. Designed by Musical Inc., produced by Kono, all in one set. Reverse die sub, cherry profile. Okay. $79.99. You know, if you really like Splatoon, then sure, go ahead. But these colors, even without the theme, really don't do it for me. But yeah, check it out. This guy expires on October 10th. Let's talk about starting group buys. See, we don't actually have too many starting group buys this time around. Most of our content today was in the ending and, and in the mist. But the first starting group buy is starting on Friday, September 30th. Um, this is another DMK set. Um, this is double shot ABS cherry profile and comes with seven different kits. As you guys can see, the prices have already been put up and a couple of the vendors as well. But here in the US, this guy will be sold on Mexican Co starting at $98 for the base. And if you want a triple shot base, which I always like, go for $108. Each of the successive kits are anywhere from 17 all the way till 39. So let's take a look at all these different kits here. So a triple shot base kit, right there. Monochrome base kit. Monochrome base kit honestly looks a little boring to me, so I would encourage people not to go for that unless you really like this aesthetic. But there's so many other sets, so many beige kits that look just like this. Of course, there's also a monochrome alternate kit as well, along with a double shot alternate kit. Then triple shot alternate kit. Let's see, icons. Novelties kit. Now let's take a look at some of the keyboard renders here. The chapter two TKL, very cool. There, finally we recover. That's so odd. Keyboard renders. The ziggurat. Cool. The laminar. Okay. Couple collabs. Very nice. 
dust mats. And let's see, vendors are going to be Eloquent Clicks, Z Frontier, Max and Co. Prototypist, Ash Keebs, Hex, Hex KB in Southeast Asia, Swag Keys, All Caps, and Reset. See, I don't have a single DMK kit. I wonder how it feels compared to GMK. A lot of people have really liked DMK, especially since they seem to be much faster and of fairly high quality as well. I personally do not have a DMK set yet. Um, part of my hesitance from buying it was because it was always available on like KP Republic and I personally haven't had a good experience of buying from KP Republic in the past but I'm sure that's all changed but you know old habits die hard so I'm glad to see that this is now available on a reputable US vendor such as Mex & Co. So I may get in on this just to just to see if I like DMK or not but we'll see. We'll see if I actually go through. 98 bucks. If you wanted to buy all seven kits in this, along with a couple of the of the collaborations, you are looking at at least $368. Yeah, check it out if you guys are interested. DMK rubber starts September 30th. Next up, and probably the only one left, is KBM Biolumin. Bioluminescence starting off this Friday or this Saturday, October 1st. So KBM Bioluminescent. I think this is only the third time we've talked about a KBM set. I still don't have a KBM set, so I can't really talk about their quality or whatnot. But check it out. This is basically a I'd say this is a sky blue on black key set, which is actually very appealing to me. Um, in fact, one of my favorite Dolch sets was Sky Dolch, you know, because I like the shade of blue quite a lot, especially when it's paired against a dark background. Yeah, it looks like several kits available here. Very pretty. See, I forget. KBM, I believe, I believe they're PBT. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But look at that. Lots of jellyfish. <laughs> Cute. Renders by Beastly. Wow, that looks like a very fancy keyboard. Nice. This is PWR. Wow. What board is this? Oh, this is the type box. Okay, I don't think we've ever talked about this going into group by, so it's probably still like a... You know, it's like a render. It's a... Uh, it's a future project, but this definitely looks like something I would be interested in buying because it looks so cool. Let's see, there's the Man 60 and the Man 40 by Gion. Let's see, the Glare TKL. Yep, that was another pretty popular board. Let's see, Group by Detail. It's going to be available on Oda Keebs here in the US. Also available in Key Gem, Z Frontier, Alpha Keys, Protozoa, Base Keys, and All Caps. Okay. Yeah, I quite like these colors. I quite like these colors. I just can't seem to remember what KBM's pricing was or how their um, quality is because I've never owned, owned a KBM set. But color-wise, theme-wise, I think this is great. Just really curious about quality here. Lin J says, those are nice. Enjoy the color. Yeah, yeah. I quite like it myself. So that makes my keyboard waterproof. Sure, you can believe that it's waterproof. <laughs> you can believe that it is waterproof. But yeah, this one starts this this Saturday, October 1st. So keep an eye on it. Probably we'll have more information as time goes on. Would love to see actual samples of other KBM sets. Does it subscribe at tier one? Thank you so much. Subscribe for three months. Who is KBM? What is KBM? How is KBM? All great questions, which I would love to have answered as well. But yeah, as far as I know, those are the only two starting group buys for this week. So now we'd like to transition over to the audience group buy section. If you guys have never been this far before, this is where I ask you guys to give me a hand. If you think I have missed a group buy that's occurring this week that I did not cover on the show, 
follow the prompt in the chat by sending me a whisper that includes a link, context, start end dates, anything to pay attention to, and please, please, please keep it to group by, keep it to this week, anything September 25th till Saturday, October 1st. If you want to know what I've already talked about, because you know maybe you joined in in the, in the middle of the stream or at the end of the stream, you can check out the GB list command also in chat. There we go. Yeah, Spike Spice has ending in 40 minutes. So good luck. Good luck if you want to try for this. Um, you know, a, a lot of people on the last stream last week when I talked about this said that they felt that the Jane was kind of an outdated aesthetic. But I argued that, you know, it's such a, it's such as a, it's such a, a genre defining aesthetic that like, you know, everyone thinks a Jane looks good. You know, at, at, at least I haven't met anyone who completely hated a Jane. So differences with the ME, number one, USB-C as opposed to the original Jane being a USB mini B. So yeah. Yeah, ending in 40 minutes if you guys are interested. This one is from Flash Flood. Flash Flood sends me the Class 80 keyboard. It is a retro design custom mechanical keyboard. Started today, September 25th, and is running till October 25th. I think we talked about this a little few weeks ago but there was no like actual start date quite yet so we didn't really go too much into detail especially since there wasn't too much information but yeah definitely retro design custom keyboard as you as you guys can see from the pictures here let's see let's click on pre-order 345 bucks aluminum keyboard case with the brass weight comes with the io3 daughter board perfect very nice case foam and battery room and battery room foam pour on gaskets 1.5 millimeter plate you also have a pc plate comes with a carrying case very nice solenoid and buzzer wow okay hmm <laughs> this is gonna be a very annoying board but I will have to say, based on my experience with the clunker from MechWild, usually the solenoid is so loud that it will overpower even a clicky switch. And I have, I've, I've had several buzzer boards. The buzzer is never that loud. So if you do have the solenoid activated, it's probably just gonna completely drown it out. Having both the solenoid and the buzzer might, might not be the best choice. Oh wow, look at that. Brass plate, half, half plate. Very nice. It's even FR4. Alex Sotos said that it was fun. Well, that's the thing, you know, like, I wonder if it's the first um, solenoid board he's typed on, because, you know, it's, it's only fun for the first half hour, then you're kind of like, okay, this is too much. This is too much. <laughs> Cool. Oh, look at that. Aluminum controller weight. I like that. It even has an optional keycap set you can buy. Looks like at the center mount USB-C, that's where we can see the, the AI-03. Let's see, one is the extra buzzer PCB. Two is the buzzer and three is the solenoid. Oh, okay. So the solenoid goes on top of the USB-C port. That's interesting. Access for when someone tries to, to break it. Very interesting. Yeah, I would be... I would want to buy this board. All right, thank you very much, Flash Flood. Let's see, who is next? This one's from Chihu. This is the Driss 65. Ooh. Okay, I've not heard about this board. Let's see, everything's still sold out because it is not even started. This one starts on September 27th. Okay. Well, since I love the color yellow, let's look at yellow. Yellow and black. 
Okay, 178 bucks. Oh. Okay, so from the top down, looks like your typical blocker at 65%. Bottom looks pretty spiffy, though. Okay. Let's see. Gasket socks. I love gasket socks. $178. Budget friendly and high quality PCB gasket mounted full CNC aluminum keyboard that Iris Lab designed to let everyone able to experience the higher end customization. Iris Lab is working on the typing sound, typing feel, craft, and quality of the kit, which benchmarks mainstream customized key keyboards. Interesting. Separate dotted board brings you a better typing experience. Hopefully they're using an, an AIO3 board. Oh, it's a 1.2 millimeter PCB, even at the hot swap level. You also have a Bluetooth option. Very nice. Let's see, I have not seen the words QMK yet though. Oh, there we go, QMK via. Let's look at that exploded layout again, just so we can see it. Okay, that does kind of look like the AI03 daughter board, so I'm just gonna assume that it is. But 178 for a board with these features, that's that's pretty neat. I, I'd be interested in this too. You can also go plateless with this. Nice. Okay. You know, honestly, just because it's available in yellow and yellow is my favorite color, I, 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 I really might just jump on this. Oh, look at that. There's a, there's one with a gold bottom. That's pretty. Okay, only 3,000 units worldwide. Okay. Okay, I will be keeping an eye on this. Now check it out guys, the Driss 65. But yeah, I guess while I'm waiting for people to send me stuff, um, I will still be having another group by new stream next Sunday. But after that, I'll be gone for pretty much an entire month. I'll be back home in the Philippines visiting family. Um, let's see. My mom has confirmed that the internet connection is actually fast enough. So we'll see though, we'll see just because you know, time differences and everything. I'm gonna try my best to stream, but it will probably be a completely different time. We'll just figure it out. I'll let people know in the Discord and you'll probably see it show up on Twitch. But it'll be a completely different background. I don't even know if I'll have appropriate lighting. I'm not even gonna bring any of these cameras. I'm just gonna bring, uh, I'm just gonna be like a, one of my smaller cameras and we'll only be doing group by new streams, no builds, no nothing like that. But yeah, I'm not seeing anyone send me stuff anymore. So this is a good time to end the stream. All right, guys, thanks for joining in. My next stream will be this coming Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll be building that Orpheum CP from um, Bomb Studios. So yeah, tune in then if you wanna see if this board, this 96 key CP style board is worth the wait. All right, guys, thank you so much. See you next time.